It's a it's a long queue. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it started moving. We're basically gonna get through the queue, like take like 10 meter walk inside, and then stop and stand like this again. Oh, I've really? like been to the bathroom, scoped the place out, bought beers. They're still in the queue. We were together. We get closer than that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need a sweat fan for all the dancers. Yeah. yeah. I just want a drink now. I'm just standing in another queue. Welcome to Amaze Berlin 2017. Let's do this! Hi, I'm Thorsten S. Wiedemann. I'm founder and director of the Amaze Festival in Berlin and in Johannesburg. Uh, it's running now since six years. And it's important that people outside also know that there's another scene outside which is not AAA and doing games which are just for mainstream. It's completely for another world. It's something everybody should experience. Let's do it better. And let's do it together! Having an event like this, in a city like this, it's unbelievable. The concentration of talent is like nothing I've ever seen. I'm from Italy, Dublin, Ireland. France. I'm a game developer and I'm like using a maze for inspiration. I come from China. Hamburg. I'm from Toronto. I make some computer games, I'm currently making a card game and I lecture in game design. We're from Poland. Switzerland. I work in the games industry as concept artist. I'm a programmer. I do, I do all the stuff you don't notice. <laughs> we want to connect people. We did stuff in Ukraine, in Cuba, in Romania, in Croatia, United Arab Arab Emirates. In South Africa, the Amaze Johannesburg Festival is an amazing festival and there's a big crowd here from South Africa and I love you guys that you are also making it possible that the community in South Africa is growing. I've seen a lot of friends from all over the world. Uh, it's a fantastic vibe, really great turnout this year. Amaze is like a celebration of games. It's not just like the usual talks and, and showcases. It's just people who love games, who come together, have a good time, hope the weather's good and feel good about what they're doing for a change. Amaze has been amazing. Probably everyone said that, right? I said that. I've met some cool people and had some fun times and drank a lot of German beer. What's been your highlight so far? Amaze has been awesome. It's been weird not having games on display and you know not feeling stressed about games on display and feeling like I don't have much to do here. But the party has been more than fun enough to make up for the lack of stress. Why does it call you Mr. Grumpy Pants? I don't know. I think it's because I have a huge forehead and the sun's always in my face and I frown. <laughs> <laughs> why does it happen at night? Yeah, why does it happen all the time? No comments. <laughs> I got accosted by Matthias earlier, just kind of saying, hey, you guys, you, we, we nominated you, and then you pulled out anyway, and why did you do that? And I gave him an explanation, and he was like, okay, that's fair, that's fair. Long Distance Call is the only game, and we're the only team to have ever been nominated and then pulled out. <laughs> Which is a very dubious, it's a very dubious honor. I made this game called Frog Smashers, obviously in Mauritius, and we had uh, sort of impromptu tournament here was like underground at a maze, which means it's like triple underground. And we did a lot of shouting while people play, so it was good fun. Imagine doing the drug smash of that bar. You will fall for at least 30 seconds. Aware of your doom. Back, back. Oh. 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 It's 
probably a highlight, yeah. Well, I bought Richie something, but I'm gonna give it to you instead. Why? Because you're cool. It's adorable, but you should give us to Richard. <laughs> I feel like Richard would respect that more. Our friendship's over yeah. dead to me. So it's been absolutely incredible. The quality of the games, the location's amazing. First time in Berlin, it's really, really cool. It's been very inspiring, very good. For a lot of different reasons. Uh, I've seen some really cool games. Something for your jacket. Ah! Oh, cool. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I'm gonna give this to Ben though. Sick. <laughs> I'm done buying people gifts. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Marcel hates everything. <laughs> God damn it. I'm trying to be nice here. Even when I'm trying to be nice, it fails. <laughs> the, the next time we do this, we need to make an episode The Saga of Sad Marcel. No, I was just trying to be nice. You guys are like, oh, my soul's so grumpy, but I'm giving out gifts and shit. What the hell? You make the best TV. Like, I don't have to fake anything around here. You just I hate my life. <laughs> so dead inside. <laughs> I've seen like a few talks and I've carefully picked them, but they've been great. Yeah, a couple of good talks. I had the best time. I've been so many great talks. I met so many cool people. Ethan Greenwood and Rune Ruffman, both from South Africa, they work for the studio Free Lives. I think I spoke some sense. It was fun. Now I can go get drunk. I'm very busy. I'm a busy sauce. I'm making video games. It's actually super open snack system. <laughs> this is a musical kitchen. We make food and sound and visuals and we put them together and then we mix it. in terms of more short form jams happening at Free Lives. I think it'll be a nice break from all the drinking and partying. So. <laughs> it's gonna be an opportunity just to make whatever I can in eight hours and see for myself more than anyone else like what I can do. Praise be. <laughs> Praise be, finally. <laughs> an actual official reason not to drink. <laughs> Really anything goes. The one that I really want is everything is fruity. <laughs> Necromancy. The eight hours and five minute jam starts now. Totally not going to cheat and just work on a thing I wanted to work on anyway. Character jam, or I'm going to talk to Jim about what he's doing and maybe help him out there. I think I'm going with the, the idea that uh, everyone's a loser for this. It's going to be that kind of game. Some sort of physical simulation that can get completely out of control when you try and use it too much and just breaks down, deliberately breaks down. Good luck to everyone else. Um, the guy's exploding. That's not good. Yeah. Can you talk right now? No, I 
I can talk, okay. I'm just, everything's exploding. Jim just says like, I've been working on a few keywords for what I want to do today. So far I've got rocket man. <laughs> like that's all he said. I don't understand something, why that's exploding. It's not working as well as I'd like it. I wanted to challenge myself to see like if you could make a full 3D character and uh, rig it and animate it and unwrap it and all that in less than a day. Wow. And like I didn't think it, like, I'd really make it so I, I made a really simple character. And then I was kind of disappointed because now I've got two hours left and I'm like, mostly done. And I think next time I could do something even bigger and cooler. Opening or not? <laughs> Yeah, 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 sure, sure. I mean, stuff, except for this guy, it's exploding. Oh, you didn't explode the time. I... Oh. 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 I made a little um, rocket game with the theme you're the antagonist. The idea is you're trying to sort of colonize a planet, which is pretty antagonistic as it is, but you're also going around and burning the shit out of buildings and throwing flags and planets to, to colonize. I'm proud to put like little speech dialogues in for characters on the planets you're passing by saying, you know, we come in peace and everything just before you torch their house. It's, it's been awesome. I sort of fixed it. <laughs> no more exploding! <laughs> Give away, this is just cricket, you cheated. Oh, no, 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 it's different. It's different, conceptually. It's genius. You don't, you don't, well, amazing. You don't have the credit there. I don't know about genius. You've made a sequel to a game we haven't released yet. It's the first sequel, right? <laughs> That's genius. Okay. I thought you liked cheap sequels, Shares. I thought you liked sequels. I like sequels. Does it make us money, Evan? Uh, well, this is... <laughs> you see? <laughs> you laugh, therefore it's gonna make money. That's how it works. It's really revitalizing to the soul. Super pumped to get back home and actually start working. I just want to go back home and make cool things and run events and like, I'm super energized by this trip. Ask yourself where you want to be in two years. Hey! hey! And remember, the future is ours. I'm scripted, right? But I'm not. I'm not scripted. <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> what was the question again? <laughs> Actually, I really forgot the question. <laughs> Do you remember? Not a beer. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.